Revolution. Yo, what's going on? It's that guy. I wanted to give you guys a video on Dem Atlas Freeform Dreadlocks coming out of Minnesota. So let's get right into this video. Um, Dem Atlas Dreads. Now, I like the look of his locks that he's got going on here. Uh, specifically because uh, you can see that they're clearly the Freeform route. Now, he does have some tapers happening down on the sides right here just kind of giving that prim and proper look his tips are very blunted as well now it looks like they might have been trimmed at some point down to this length because his, his tips are very uh, very flat edged you know but I'm not too sure I, I think entirety is dreads look about four to five years um, now I really like the look that he's got going on here he does the side ponytails with the big tam on top and I think it's the look for big tams that really got me into liking dreads to begin with uh, it's very Bob Marley like to look like this it's very very Marley like and check out the red frame glasses as well you know very cool look um, now I do notice some blonde in his dreads and I'm not sure if this is from the Sun or if he colored some of these locks himself but specifically this dread here does have some uh, lighter colors to it and at this point of his life his dreads are about down to his chin just past his chin very optimal length and uh, if you're looking at pictures of him from earlier in the days um, you can always see uh, a free former because of the new growth now his new growth is coming in here quite strong nothing is tightened down right to the scalp um, also look at some of these fishtails he's got going on on the side of his dreads. Um, these are some dreads that have combined in the past. So uh, I'm really liking his look that he's got going on with the scarfs. The scarfs uh, really complement the dreads quite well. His headband also does the same thing. Um, I love how his dreads look pretty flat. Like there's no scarring, there's no twist marks, there's no interlock marks or crochet needle marks uh, put into his dreads. And this results in a very smooth matted looking dreadlock uh, down the whole shaft itself <clears throat> now this picture maybe it's just me but it reminds me of takeoff in his early days um, I like the way that he's got his dreads in a half updo going on there it's a pretty cool look uh, smoke fill in the room as well pretty dope smoking that dope freeform locks always look pretty wild and free when you have them just tied up in a half updo with your own locks. Like this look doesn't need any rubber band or headband. Like it can be done with just your dreads alone. Um, this photo here caught my eye because he is wearing the headphones. Now headphones were pretty remarkable um, significance in my dreadlock journey growing up because I felt like it was hindrance. It was causing a hindrance to my dreads when they were free forming <clears throat> because I was working every day as an editor. And I felt like in that spot the dreads were gonna get messed up But in fact where the headphone band touched the top of my scalp It actually helped dread that area quicker because of the friction It was almost like a towel rub that was happening from the dread the headphone itself So just wanted to put that out there uh, his dreads looking pretty cool at this point as well notice the new growth uh, very active in the fresh hair coming in uh, and the dreads still looking like pretty blunted uh, for the most part some tips here are pretty thin and wispy uh, this photo shows really the naturalness going on with his dreads I really like to see uh, the frizziness and like the matte fuzz that's happening on those locks as well uh, it's cool to see the different lengths happening uh, from this front frontal dreads down to the ones on his, on his back of his neck uh, they, they seem to be all different shapes now opposed to in the earlier pictures so maybe he's been cutting them to make a little bit of a layering effect, kind of like Sway Lee. Uh, this picture here shows some dreads on the side that are kind of shorter than the ones on the back. But again, he is doing the double ponytail, the pigtails. Uh, pretty unique. You don't really see too many guys rocking the pigtails like this. Uh, 
on my way home Ghost hollow in my scope Won't leave me alone I'm only human Flesh and blood Gotta surrender But I keep holding on to this grudge yeah. This one being a side ponytail The one pigtail Definitely seen this done before It's a pretty cool look This is when his dreads were a little bit shorter Than what they are now uh, And this picture I really like Because it is wild Showing how much his dreads are freely like moving around when he performs they really add to the energy as well of the performance when you have wild dreads maybe that's why it's becoming such a staple to hip-hop r&b's style these days because of the energy and i just think of waka flocka like remember waka flocka on stage quick picture here of the up duke just kind of put to the side naturally with no rubber bands or anything um, his dreads look really thick actually in this picture no doubt they look really thick here great look and again a nice, a nice wool knitted tam tams are great products for dreads I'm in love with tams on more than 50% of me is like I got dreads just so I could wear tams the hat collections are insane I just like covering up my dreads with a big big hat it's weird Anyone else like that? Is it just me? Uh, and lastly here showing the, the pigtails once again with the tied up with his own dread it looks like. There might actually be an elastic band there. But his locks definitely getting lengthier and uh, we are excited to see where the future holds with them Atlas. So I'm grateful that you guys actually requested this. I am a fan of the music and um, I hope that he has a lot of success down the road and an epic dreadlock journey to partake in. I'm going to end this video guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, one love. And you know what it is, not nation. Stay happy and nappy. I'm gone. Peace.